Normally, we encounter with only single elephant problem. Once the drought starts in the forest area, we have a water tank here. They decide to take water in our uh, uh, storage tank. They come and damage the crops, banana crops. They eat away everything, uh, whatever that you know, based on its hungerness. Then it will carry the bunches along with the trunk they carry away. I have about six acres of hurricane net here. In that, uh, the rodents will climb the tree and it will go up and uh, destroy the nuts. Nuts there, fruits and nuts there. We have three types of pests here, most probably which affects hurricane net and paddy. The main one is rodent and millibug. Wild boar plays a major role in paddy. It destroys a lot in paddy. We keep no care, we put a watchman. They have the horns, you know, that blower or crackers. Once we put that, you know, that crackers, it will run. Sometimes even that when you put horns, you know, that sound, sound making. We have to make sounds to repel the animals. Developing this product, and this was not like any passion-based, it was a need-based innovation what I developed. It was basically started with the problems which we face in our own organic farm, which is 40 years old, a third generation organic farming what we were doing in a big 700 acres. So uh, there we encountered this huge animal problem started from elephant, uh, wild pig, porcupine, bats, parrots and deer. These were the five major problems which we uh, were encountering in our orchard. It's a mango and uh, guava orchard and tree plantation. So that is where I had to find a solution into uh, way back in 2011. So that is how it started to work from 2009 and 10 and 2012-13. We came up with a product and solution without a name. It was very raw and the idea was also very raw. And uh, with uh, the Krishi Vigyan Kendra, the central government uh, district research stations, who was luckily there, stationed with their office in the our farm place, which is in the Western Ghats, and just two kilometers, one and a half kilometers to the forest foothills. So we use all traditional methods, but obviously failed. And then I tried to develop this with a lot of permutation and combinations. We came into one stage. But then uh, we were suggested to go to Tamil Nadu Agriculture University for a scientific validation. And that is where uh, we got into the incubation center. Lot of guidance, lot of inputs, a lot of efforts has been uh, provided by the incubation center in that uh, developing stage. And even the scientists of the research institute could not understand how to validate this because it was not a lab tested one where they can do it inside the lab. It was all in the field with the animals they had to observe. It was a very challenging thing. And uh, at that time, the incubation center, the uh, director, they were very much a lot of efforts they took. And with only, I, could, I should say that with their efforts and the understanding, and they in, uh, discussed with the uh, institution, research institution, and the one year of field study extended to two years uh, because of the confusion. And finally, it, uh, the results were really good. And then we came up with the name and the trademark as Herbolive Plus. By because the plus denotes, uh, the Herbolive plus uh, denotes the multiple benefits which this innovation carries apart from the repellent.